Hey everybody, we are here day nine of the 2021 countdown and obviously we're in the midst of holiday season and yes, these are still my pajamas and it is not necessarily morning time when this is being recorded nor is it actually on Christmas day, but you know what? Sometimes we need days where we can give ourselves permission to be in pajamas without beating ourselves up for it, for our flaws of feeling lazy or lethargic or just a complete wasted space for the day. But the thing is, this if those are real, and I don't know about you, but that inner critic voice is very, very has been very pounding, um, or can be very pounding at times. Why I'm sharing this with you today is our next step in our, our practice for self-compassion. One of the most powerful tools that is so extremely difficult to learn and most importantly practice. So today is an introduction layer of three important things to keep in mind when practicing self-compassion. It is a radical act of, yes, self-love and self-care, but it is a layer of our ability to still care about ourselves. We do so much out, outward core of caring to other people, especially during right now, this time of making, tending to others' needs. But how often are we tending to our own? When we practice self-compassion with this mini self-compassion break, we're opening up the gateway to a flush of oxytocin release. And oxytocin is one of our natural bodies uh, bonding hormones that is secreted from, it's part of our endocrine system, it's deeply embedded into our parasympathetic, our parasympathetic nervous system, this rest and digest. And it can be accessed anytime, anywhere. So if you're having one of those days where your pajamas are on the forefront and you're not getting out of them and you feel guilty, it's not the pajama day, friends. It's you know not getting to the grocery store, spending too much money on Amazon, saying something you regret, writing that text, um, you know, not cleaning the house, not giving, you know, not following the proper diet, the weight gain. It's, it's endless, but it's real and you're not alone. And so with that today, let's practice. Let's practice showing up for ourselves and our hearts with some care and see what arises. There's no picture perfect. It's about just being here. Can you do that for yourself? Can you be here for yourself perhaps when nobody else can? Encouraging you today as we practice and get ourselves settled, find yourself into a seat, maybe laying down. If you have a blanket handy, you might want to throw a drape a blanket over your shoulders or across your lap. You know, nestle your head against a pillow if you're lying down. We're closing your eyes. Closing your eyes as we begin this practice of being here in this new moment. Inviting some deep breaths in and out of the nose, the lungs, the belly. With each of these breaths, perhaps just automatically creating a smile that may feel a little awkward and, and or silly, but what would it be like to lift the corners of your mouth? Thit Nhat Han calls this part of our inner smile, which is another direct link to our parasitic nervous system of resting, digesting, decompressing, releasing that stress response, the layers of guilt, shame, frustration. And just checking in how the body feels and asking yourself, what do I need at this moment? Wherein my body can use a little greater refuge of attention, of care, of kindness. When your eyes fall deeper back into sockets and support them, letting go of any strain that may be present. If there's any tension around the jaw or the teeth, be like to let that go. Perhaps releasing the shoulders, making note of any 
tightness that might be leftover residue from stress, a workout, an awkward sitting position, or a long day of being at the screen. And coming into our first part of this self-compassion break is becoming aware of, of touch. Just making note of how it feels for you when you are touched gently. But what is your body coming into contact with right now? What is this place of touch? Bringing your attention there as you anchor your attention there. Touch of support with your feet against the floor or the chair. Perhaps your palms resting in your lap or even today bringing your hands together to experience what touch is like to hold a hand of your own. Noting what shows up if there is a sense of warmth that's generated. Another part of our self-compassion break is making note of warmth. Just noticing what parts of our body may feel normal than others. Depending on what clothing is covering the skin or if you're at inside or outside. Perhaps the breath feels warm. Lingering here with this, these two elements of touch and warmth. You might even want to do a gentle embrace of your hands across each other as part of this self-compassion break where nobody even has to know you're giving it to yourself. And then placing your hand on the cheek or your finger even against your lips. Just holding yourself here. But exploring what it's like to be held in your own, your own skin. And noticing here the thoughts of the mind, where the ticker tape is, the tonality of those thoughts. How is that speaking tone of the inner dialogue? That inner voice, the critic, or perhaps he or she is alive with some support and noting where the mind went and just seeing it with a smile and from that escorting the mind back to this point of your body of the breath, perhaps even the sound of the breath. Again, as we smile, Thich Nhat Hanh calls it, all inner, calls it our inner smile. Again, which ignites our rest and digest this parasympathetic nervous system, which allows our stress response to release, reduce a little bit more. And being here in this place of a moment to give yourself this gift of time. This gentle awakening of what's here. Can this be enough? Can this breathing be enough? Can this place of being right here and right now be enough? Making note of the mind's tendency to wander and bringing it back to this body and every cell that lives within your body of functioning. And all the body, it's not asking you of much, but it's this, again, a true radical act of self-care to slow ourselves down, to listen to the needs. Not only listen, but to feel them from the inside out. And with 
this practice of self-compassion, being reminded of soothing touch, warmth, and lastly, tone. Tone the sound of my voice. Maybe there's a humming that you may experience in the room that you're in, a buzzing sound. The tonality of the frequency of sounds also helps to decrease some turbulent brain waves generally left in our normal everyday state of high function activity. And so with some gratitude today, let's place both hands on top of our hearts, one on top of the other. And bowing into yourself as you just give yourself this gift, these three mini practice principles of touch, warmth, and tone come back to who you are as a human being. At any moment that we feel that we're off the grid or we've been too critically hard on ourselves, and especially those days of the pajamas, the calm. So now as you open up your eyes and just sharing this moment of gratitude with each and every one of you to remind us of our humanism and that we are not alone, and that we all are experiencing something of difference that rather more things that are probably similar that we don't know that each other are going through. But by practicing this act of self-compassion, we give it to ourselves so that we can meet others where they are as well. So I look forward to seeing you for our final day, day 10, tomorrow, as we explore and stay connected uh, through this mini process of getting ready for 